Welcome back, Walden, to another roundup of the news from WSNT. I'm Hunter. And I'm Maya. In this month's episode, we will be covering Walden's Greek Festival. We will also check in with our Builders Club. Walden students are having lots of fun and are always looking for great opportunities to learn. Up first is the much-anticipated 2nd and 7th grade favorite, the Greek Festival. Timothy Williams checked in with Mr. Cochran, Miss E, and Miss Blevins and has this report. The Greek Festival is an annual celebration that all 7th and 2nd graders have the opportunity to participate in and learn more about the historical and cultural aspects of life during ancient Greece. 7th grade projects about ancient Greek architecture and posters of mythological gods and goddesses plastered on the hallways promote the festival while classes continue to prepare for the spectacular event. Mr. Cochran says participating in the Greek festival is a great way for students to become immersed in learning. The Greek festival is an activity that the 2nd and 7th graders do together every year. Um, this is the 11th annual Greek festival, I believe, and it's just an, ap an opportunity for kids to get together to learn a little bit about Greece and to enjoy um, learning about it in more of an interactive and engaging way than just sitting in the classroom. Mrs. Blevins says her second graders were extremely excited about participating in the Greek festival because it tied into what they were learning in class. Second graders involved with the Greek festival because they study the continent of Europe at this time of the year. So we start off in Greece when we study Europe. The festival is centered around the Greek Olympic Games. Dressed in their very best toga, second and seventh graders were divided into city-states from ancient Greece and worked together on different events to compete for the title. Favorites of the, com of the competitors, the javelin throw and the chariot race, were among the most anticipated and enjoyed events. Miss Ernstberger organizes and brings the entire Greek games together. In preparing for the festival, it took us about two weeks to practice with both uh, seventh grade and the second graders on the different events, the long distance run, the short distance run, the chariot race, and the javelin throw. Following the games, the fun continues with renditions of Greek myths performed by seventh grade students. Students settle into a feast fit for the gods, complete with stuffed grape leaves, spanakopita, baklava, and hummus. Delicious. For this seventh grader, the annual Greek festival is an energetic, exciting, and fun-filled way to build a cultural and creative learning environment. For WSNT, I'm Timothy Williams reporting. Thank you, Timothy, for that riveting report. Maya, when you were in seventh grade, what did you most enjoy about the Greek festival? I love Greek mythology and the Greek gods, so I really liked educating the younger kids about that. I remember when I was in seventh grade, I studied the Greek god of war, Ares. Oh, do you remember anything of what you learned? No. Um, <laughs> okay. In other news, this week Builders Club is starting to sell cubograms for one dollar each. The proceeds will go to the World Food Program, which is the world's largest humanitarian agency that fights hunger worldwide. They transport food and save the lives mm. of victims of war, civil conflict, and natural disasters by providing them with food. The World Food Program is a wonderful organization with which Walden is collaborating. I can hardly wait to see the results of the sale. Well, that's all for now, but join us in a couple weeks with a, with a special report from Sarah Haney, Miles Tharp, and me, Hunter Borowick, on the Kentucky United Nations Assembly, or CUNA. I'm Maya Joshi. And I'm Hunter Borowick. See you next time on, on WSNT. WSNT.